So our grand master plan is to turn our stationary gantry crane into a rolling gantry crane. And the reason for this is that since I often work alone, it would be a big help to have the crane hold the frames for uh, installation to the keel. Um, it's not that the frames are that heavy, it's just that they're big and awkward and this would be a real convenience to have something to hold the frames while I attach them to the floor timbers. Now the problem is that our building has too much stuff along the side here. It's not really big enough for me to build like a permanent gantry, rolling gantry crane, something that would be able to roll back and forth uh, around the finished boat. It'd be really convenient, but we just can't make it happen. So going with that, we're going to build the platform and track for the crane to roll on right on our building cradle. Building cradle is nice and level. Um, it'll make things considerably easier for our install. Now, the track that the crane will roll on is just commercially available um, V-groove track and V-groove wheels that are used for like rolling uh, chain link fences and parking lots and whatnot. So that's no problem. But we've got to have something for the track uh, to attach to to get on the building cradle. So we're going to build a platform. And what we're going to use is some leftover stock and 2x4s and stuff. And we're going to build like half an I-beam or like a T. And we'll attach screws through the top. It'll be nice and stiff um, in that uh, placement. And then we'll attach that assembly to the building cradle for the crane to roll on. Then we can attach the track and put the wheels onto the crane. And hopefully she should just roll back and forth no problem. So we're going to start our morning by milling up some lumber um, that we had left over from our frame building. It was stuff that I didn't use because it either had knots or sapwood or for whatever reason I didn't like it. Um, and really can't use it for anything else, so it's going to be perfect. It would be a lot easier to go and buy 2 by 4s and then just use you know our, our stuff that's already machined up. But you know we're trying to save money obviously and we have the stock so all we just got to do is mill it up. What we're doing is uh, to try to stiffen up this track for our rolling gantry crane. Um, I'm just cutting some two inch blocks. It's kind of a ledger. And then we're putting our homemade two by fours in. And then we drive it through with a couple screws. That's it. I'm using a couple three inch screws. Um, to hold things in place and then I'm running through some shorter two inches just to stiffen it up. Now if we wanted it really stiff and like really super permanent, you know, I would glue it, but we're not going to be doing that. Now once we run this uh, layout all the way down, we pull out our V-Track which is just like 12 gauge galvanized uh, steel folded to have that uh, ridge in there. And then with our V, uh, v groove wheels, and then they'll just ride on there. Um, how we attach this to the gantry crane is, uh, I think I have an idea, but we're still working on that, but then it'll just roll back and forth. I'll have to be very careful on the opposite side to make sure that these two tracks remain parallel. Obviously that's gonna be critical, but uh, once we get one side done, we can have we can work off this fixed side to make sure that other side is parallel. I'll probably have to build a jig or something to make sure that uh, that works out. So we'll just keep on moving down the line. So we used a string line to uh, set up and make sure that um, the track install was perfectly straight. Worked out really well. And now what we're doing is just making up a jig to for when we install the other side. There's no real way, easy way to measure to make the, sure the two sides are parallel because the keel's in the way. So we're going to build a jig that straddles the keel and then uh, as we install the track on the other side we can slide it up and down to make sure it's parallel. So we have two sets, one for each side. Uh, and then we can go ahead and get started on that side.
So I got out of work a little bit early today, which gave me enough time just to finish uh, setting up the track. Had a couple issues when I first did the layout, uh, but we've overcome those now. Uh, and now, with the um, jig on the tracks, it's just a matter of making sure both wheel bases are square, and then I can loosen these uh, brace screws here so that this will pivot and keeping it square. And I think I've got it locked in now. So now it's just a matter of rolling it down and making sure it stays in the same place. Perfect. So now it's just a matter of locking down the uh, track to the uh, building cradle and then modifying the crane and uh, there's quite a few modifications we got to do but chiefly putting the wheels onto the base of this so we'll get started on that. So we're just spending today getting the uh, supports for the, our gantry crane complete and attaching the wheels. Um, I think this is called a box beam, pretty simple just using a lot of uh, two by sixes, uh, a lot of fasteners just to make sure it's nice and rigid and uh, taking special uh, time just to make sure our wheels are nice and uh, parallel to each other so, they're, so everything rolls nice and smooth. Try out the big drill bit for the uh, keel bolts. Might as well use it now. I could have used plywood for like gussets here, but I had the two by fours and scrap, so I'm just gonna add a couple two by fours. We're using uh, some number 14 wood screws. These are some that I bought from Tacoma Wood. I wanted to try them out. Um, they're okay, they uh, tend to break off.
dangerous. All right, just need some gussets, and then this baby will be rock solid. Like a lot of things that I do, I uh, think them out in my head, and then kind of engineer as I go. And I think this is one of those instances. Where we want, I want to have a little counterweight, obviously, for when we put the load on that side. We want to try to even these forces out so that we get that load point going back through the center and down through the uh, down through our center support, which I think we do. We're not killing it super tight here, just so that you know as we pull, it doesn't rack, and that seems to be effective. So we'll put my big ass on it and see how it holds. Holds me pretty good. And there's our rolling gantry crane. It doesn't move like air, but it moves pretty smooth for all the weight that it is. Maybe a couple more support, uh, diagonal supports at the top here, but otherwise I think it's uh, pretty much good to go. Um, two weekends ago we got the last of our uh, keel glue ups done in the aft end. The only thing that's left to attach are the knees. Uh, we still have a few more drift bolts to install like we did uh, on the other portions. And then we got to clean up the keel, a final sanding on the keel to clean up the glue squeeze out for those, uh, those glue ups. Um, we sent our um, keel bolts off to the galvanizer. They should be back fairly soon. We have the lofted pattern for our transom that we did all those months ago on the red rosin paper when we had our framing table. We can uh, get some white oak milled up for that, start getting that transom built. And then it's just a matter of, you know, boom, 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 moving our way forward cutting floor timbers, uh, attaching the frames, and on and on. It should be a pretty exciting winter. I'm, I'm happy. Um, we just went over 100,000 views on our website at uh, www.cdreamerproject.com. It's pretty exciting. You know, we never would have thought a year ago that we had uh, that much interest and to connect with so many people from around the world. It's, like I've said before, it's been a really, really great experience. So uh, very happy to have uh, so many people following along. So like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.